So the first thing I'm going to do is paint the model a primer base of FX1 Tamiya. It's on about 30 psi. It's quite high and it's a 0.3 nozzle uh, approx.
So the pre-shading hasn't come out as well as I hoped using Revell, but I've just put a little bit of cheated and put a bit of Umbro because that's all I've got black, black Umbro into the um, Revell um, paint. And um, I've just sprayed the bottom to try and get a contour as it comes down the side. And I'm not sure if the camera can pick it up, but it does look sort of you've got light going to sort of dark and it's sort of very subtle um, looks okay and I've, I've done it under the gun barrel as well so um, hopefully when i progress you might see it a little bit better but it's quite tough um using revel to try and you have the pre-shading come through because every time i try to get thin it's just really hard work trying to um use it's it's almost better if it's simply you put it on and then you try and just sort of post shade it with bleaching and things but we'll, we'll see how it comes out um the the hull that's come out quite well i don't know if the camera picks that up again but it's so difficult that's come out probably the best
uh, just some progress. I've started doing the figure. Um, I painted it in just some green I've got. Um, I think before, so I used that. So that's my base coat. And then I've just done shadows, which you just add some black to that uh, dark green, painted those in. And uh, then I add some white to the base coat, the dark green, and uh, went on sort of top of the creases. You can sort of use a brush to sort of blur it in. I use sort of that sort of thing, really. So I've done that uh, and I've done the boots as well. So that's sort of gray. And then I've dark gray and I've painted the shadows in as black and then just a bit of light gray on top of the creases. I've yet to start doing the face. I will do that. At the moment, it's just got a brown sand uh, coat on it. And the berry will be sort of blackish. Um, so that's that bit so far. Now that I've done all the um, clear coat, I've fitted the running gear, the wheels, onto the lower hull. I did actually the sprocket wheel. Uh, I did forget to clear coat that. I always seem to forget to do something. Um, I put it on the back correctly. I've built things in the past and got it wrong with the sort of rubber type tracks. Um, so uh, there's that side and there's that side. And the next thing we're going to do is uh, decals or decals. So with the decals I've gone for just the plain olive drab. I haven't gone for the sort of two-tone camo. Um, there's not really much to choose from between the sort of two. Um, I'm probably going to go for this one at the bottom, the 554. So let's get on with that. So put the decal into some lukewarm water. quite a bit of the area that you can sort of hold. So I use Microset, there's other things you can use, but this is just the one I use. And it helps soften the decal and get it to sort of stick better to the model. Um, quite liberally. You can use tweezers or something, just a bit like that. And then usually a cocktail stick. Just get it to where you like it. Just gotta be gentle with this bit. So then it's just about making sure you get rid of all the excess and there's no air bubbles underneath. And it's used this bit, I usually move it and have to recenter it or something. It's more of a rolling action you want. So it's just moved a little bit. I'm happy with it and you can apply this a couple of times I mean you, there is micro sol which is sort of sort of heavy duty stuff really it's, it's got to be a pretty bad decal or you're really trying to 
sort of form it over a really awkward sort of area. I very rarely use that. So I think for now, I'll probably leave it at that and see how it dries. So I'm going to carry on now. I'll do the rest of them, then I'll show you what, it, what they look like at the end. Thank you.